Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, repeat here in my back. I had some technical difficulties for the cup race the other night, but got everything sorted out. PC's up and running beautifully. No issues, no lag, no computer giving me the blue screen of death or anything like that. And tonight it's going to be all about the NNR truck, guys. They're going to take on the twists and turns of old Watkins Glen up in Watkins Glen, New York. Um, the guys are already done with their... Uh, their connection test, they're getting ready to start qualifying. I'm excited. I, I, man, it, to miss the cup race at Kansas the other night uh, was definitely, um, it, it, I was upset about it, man. Um, and I was still able to, to catch a few clips of uh, some of the people that were streaming. I uh, want to you know, thank Boehner and a few others for that. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Second, second, uh, chase in the first round of the chase. We got about 15 trucks on track tonight. Kind of usually happens about this time of year. The people that didn't make it, they say, you know, what's the sense? And that's unfortunate because they still put on a great show for all of you and me. Uh, but I, I tell you. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun waiting on all these twists and turns, a little bit of beating and banging maybe uh, through the S's, going to the bus stop, around the carousel. The second to last turn's always a big uh, uh, big breaking point. So we'll have to see uh, see how it all pans out. But for now, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand this on over to our buddies over at Madison Rising for uh, for our national anthem. It's usually oh. About three and a half minutes or so. So while these guys are taking their uh, their laps, which uh, turn usually turn right about um, um, about a, a minute ten in the trucks, I would think maybe about a minute seven in the the uh, the cup cars. So that's kind of what we're looking at. But yeah, please go ahead and stand, remove your hats. Here's uh, here's our buddies.
Once again, big, big thank you to Madison Rising for allowing NNR to use their version of the National Anthem. Anytime we start up a start up a race, whether it's tonight with the trucks, on Tuesday night with the Xfinity cars, or Thursday nights when, uh, when, the, when the Cup guys take to the tracks. Now, guys, I know in the past we did have a little bit of uh, separation in the, in the, uh, the series schedules, uh, but the, uh, the trucks, the Xfinity cars, uh, cars and the the cup cars they will run the the entire chase schedule out uh, somebody asked me about that um, t- uh, together so they will go to each track um, you know all the same tracks for for the rest of the uh, of the chase including the finale at auto at I'm sorry uh, at um, Atlanta Motor Speedway so guys again Please go on over to YouTube or go to Spotify and look up NNR and give them uh, give them a follow. From what I hear, uh, they've actually got a really really good playlist. I mean, I, I looked up Dave Bray. Uh, he actually goes by Dave Bray USA. He's got a great playlist. He's the he's the ex lead singer now of, of Madison Rising. Um, yeah, give uh, give them a listen. They're actually really really good. I've uh, got uh, some pretty uh, some pretty great content. But tonight, it is all about these truck guys. Uh, again, about 15 trucks are going to be on track. Looking forward to it all. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they've they have not disappointed at all uh, this entire season. Some of the the best um, view count, I guess we'll say, you know, where there's the most people out there in chat uh, have actually been during the truck races. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like they are done qualifying. The timer is counting down, just waiting on that ever important invite from somebody. And hopefully that comes really soon. Doesn't look like I've got it just yet. And what do you know? There's King Outbreak on the uh, on demand. Uh, let's Go ahead and grab that. We're going to go ahead and load in. Here we go. Watkins Glen International out of Watkins Glen, New York. I've actually passed this place a couple times. Um, it's uh, it's definitely a, a sight to see. Um, but Cindy Thompson won and Indo, Indo Sea Life. I don't know. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the follows. Very much appreciated. Um you know, hopefully you hit that notification button and you know that we're live right now. Uh, we've got, I think it's like 40 laps tonight, something like that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, I actually didn't get a full full lap count. I was talking to a couple others during uh, their cup practice, and I think they said something about 13, uh, 13 laps. So... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Uh, as you can see, the points are scrolling across the bottom of the board. It's very very tight between Asbol, Watt, and a couple others. Uh, you know those big points leads that they had in the beginning, they're gone. But uh, speaking of Watt, there he is on the pole in that uh, that 88 truck with the 94, a King Outbreak, last week's winner. He's already locked into next week. Uh, there's Asbol. He's gonna start right behind Watt. Then you've got the uh, 33 of Trip or NNR Trip now, 75 old Fatless Dig, the five truck of Little Tank, 18 of the ever popular Cowboy, uh, with uh, Blessed Hand, a double O Mountain Dew machine to uh, his inside outside. They're going to be switched positions like crazy tonight. Uh, there's exclusively Elite, the 12 truck, the Double J machine, the, and the uh, the IK9.com truck. 
Uh, here's the 17 of Spurl. Uh, 90 of Old Papa Bear. Good to see him out here again. Here's the 51 of NNR Swatch, your new uh, Truck Series admin. And we're back up, uh, back up front as you see these guys kind of navigating uh, the the bus stop now. Just now coming into the carousel. Next time they come by, it's going to be a whole lot faster. And if there's if there's side by side, you know you're probably going to see a little action. The guy in the bottom, he's going to be digging for all it's worth, trying to get that spot. Maybe try to come down here into the second to last turn and maybe do a little bit of out breaking. We'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, King Outbreak, he's got nothing to lose. Everything from here on until the uh, the end of uh, the, the first stage of the chase is all gravy to him. It's all bonus points. So here we are coming off the last turn. 88 of Watt Racing, 94 of King Outbreak, the 8, uh, eight of, uh, of Asbel, and the 33 of Old Trippy Main. Let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and set them green. Here we go, guys. Underway. Let's get a, uh, let's get a good view here. Coming into the first corner, 88's up, going to be up a little high. Uh, that's going to allow the 8 to get right on his bumper. Here comes the 94. He's going to have a clean entrance into the bottom of the S's, but right behind him, here comes the 8 as well. They're going to be, uh, double wide for second place, third and fourth. Uh, I'm sorry, fourth and fifth are all single file as they actually get single file out first through fifth. Pretty good job so far. Caution free, almost contact uh, contact free. 33 tried to cut that just a little bit, but uh, the 88 said, uh-uh, not mine, not today. Got to go. Man, I can't, I love Watkins Glen. I always have. It's like the my my uh, most favorite road course on the uh, on it, you know the game period um be curious to see if they uh add in the the uh the addition uh to the uh to this game like they do in forza where you can actually try out the the second um uh, version of this uh of uh, this track it's actually pretty cool king outbreak right now very much to the lead uh he's got a little bit of a gap back there to uh back there to the eight of uh, of asbel Right now, though, Asbel is under fire by the 88 of Watt Racing. Going to come up again through the S's. Uh, looks like 8's going to have that well in control. Going to go back here through the field here a little bit. Uh, let's take a look. Really nothing uh, nothing doing. Again, about 15 trucks on track tonight. Uh, there were two uh, chase contenders that did not make the field. Uh, not quite sure why or what happened, but... Um, that's going to give the opportunity to a lot of guys to try and make up some very, very important and very needed bonus points. Right now, as you see, the uh, the double O of Blessed Hands uh, with the 18 of Cowboy right in front of him. I do have the streams of Cowboy as well as King Outbreak to utilize tonight to kind of keep an eye on cautions and uh, fuel stops and things like that. But... Uh, as of right now, there's no need uh, no need for that. Although I can get us a lap count, kind of see where we're sitting on uh, on laps for the first stage. So let's go ahead and check that. The next time Cowboy Matt uh, comes by the start finish line, I'll go ahead and do that. And it looks like uh, they the first stage is 18 laps, and they've got 15 laps to go. So still quite a while. Everybody out there in chat, um, the uh, yeah, if you if you need to know anything, if you want to know anything about any of the drivers or whatever, please by all means uh, shout it out. Uh, it's gonna be um, you know I don't bite. I will talk to you. Uh, you know I'll talk about anything you want to talk about as far as long as it's uh, <laughs> within the scope of uh, of these NNR races, uh, which yeah they're uh, they're a whole lot of fun. But uh, right now, first and second really have not changed. It's going to be the 94 of King Outbreak with the 8 of Asmol hot on his heels. Coming uh, off the last corner down this front stretch. Uh, the 8 looks like he's going to be able to close up just a little bit. Definitely within the draft. Maybe try to outbreak him. Definitely did not make any contact. Thought about maybe trying to turn under, but it looks like he got loose there under breaking. Um, so that might be something that King Outbreak can use at a later time. Who knows? But right now, first through third, 
94, 8, and the 88 of last last season's uh, truck champ, Watt Racing. Looks like uh, 75 Fatless Dig is going to be the first one to pull down pit road. Uh, he must be well within his uh, his fuel window to do that. So get in there, make some adjustments, um, top it off on fuel, maybe you know, maybe two tires. I'm not quite sure. I haven't turned any practice laps here myself. Actually, just got my computer up and running here about two hours ago. So um, glad to be back and uh, yeah, get these uh, get these trucks going. Here's exclusively Lee. It's pretty cool to see. I believe it was like an aunt or a girlfriend or something like that that checked into uh, checked into chat the other day as he's working up underneath the uh, the double O of blessed hands. Pushed him up just a little bit. Coming into the last turn, looks like double O is going to kind of repay a little bit of that favor. Gave him a little bit of a shot to the bumper, getting into that corner and move the uh, move the 64 up just a tad. But no harm, no foul. Uh, here's uh, yeah, we're actually seeing quite a few people getting a little loose here going into this uh, this first corner under brake. These uh, these trucks must be getting pretty light um, after they burned off some of this gas. 90 old Papa Bear. Good to see him again. Papa Bear is actually running. The, this paint scheme that he's running is actually his boss's paint scheme. Um, his boss runs a, uh, a late. Uh, late modified or something like that um, and he has this this car sitting in his garage and I guess Pop Bear uh, caught a vision of it and said you know what I'm going to pay homage to my boss and uh, I'm going to put his paint scheme out on the out on track tonight so that's uh, that's really cool of you Pop Bear hopefully your boss is watching get you a nice little raise or something there's a 51 of swats. Definitely got some damage, uh, damage on that hood. These corners where it gets really tight going through, uh, it's not going to bode very well for him. He's probably going to want to come down pit road here pretty soon, get that damage fixed before he misses, uh, you know, before he loses too much time. Back to Watt here. And it looks like uh, we've had a pass for the lead because now King Outbreak is looking ahead to that eight truck of Asbel, and he's looking behind to the 88. Now, again, um, King Outbreak, he's got nothing to lose. He's locked into the chase. He's just, he, you know, when uh, when he was asked last week, uh, you know, does he relax and maybe start practicing for the for the next round of chase tracks? He said, nope, there's more wins, more points. And, uh, yeah, uh, he, was, he was all about that. <coughs> Here's the five little tank. Little tanks had a pretty good uh, had a pretty good season this year. Uh, he he made it into uh, into the chase right now. He's sitting about 51 points back of uh, of Asbel, um, and Watt I believe is about 20 points behind Asbel. So there's a there's a pretty good distance uh, between first and third, but not. Uh, not insurmountable by any means. There's Cowboy. He said he's he sent out a tweet saying that he's actually going to be rocking uh, these colors uh, for the rest of of uh, the the chase season um, here in the in the trucks and Xfinity. Uh, it's actually still I think pretty cool of Rowdy to pick up on these colors uh, to uh, to run them all the way around. I think that was Darlington we saw Rowdy run these colors. Or it might have been uh, might have been Daytona. Everybody uh, coming through coming through the bus stop here. Dan, the lawman's going to be a little pissed uh, that they're uh, they're damaging all this uh, all this property. Speaking of Dan, uh, he will actually be with me on Tuesday night to call the Xfinity Series. So just like last week, we had the one and only J Pie in here for the first time to call out uh, the Xfinity Series uh, on Tuesday night. It's going to be none other than. Uh, Dan the Lawman, so I'm sure he's going to be paying attention to all these uh, these breaking uh, uh, points and uh, how people are getting through the carousel and how they're making their way through the bus stop and what whatnot. So, um, Dan, if you're if you're out there, looking forward to calling uh, calling Tuesday night's race with you. Back to the 17 of Spur. Pop Bear coming off uh, coming off pit road. Looks like he has. Ooh, 
hit that uh, hit that inside wall. He's definitely going to want to get that right in as quickly as possible before anybody else comes up behind him. But he might be stuck. I don't know if he can get this righted. This is definitely unfortunate. He may actually need somebody to come in and hit him out of the way. Uh, this is, that's just horrible. Okay, there we go. It looks like the game uh, righted him. Uh, they, could, they couldn't have the truck blocking, uh, blocking pit road. So uh, good, uh, good job for the game to get him back out on track. Yeah, Joker, I uh, I agree with you. Big oh no for Pop Bear. That cost uh, that unfortunately cost him a lot of time. Um, but Pop Bear, even though he's he's kind of far down there in the standings right now, again there are a couple chasers that did not make the field tonight, so he's going to be able to make up some points uh, no matter what. 33 trip main. Again, fatless dig. Whoa, and we got the double O of blessed hands, and they are all going to gather right here coming through the S's. That is a bad, bad spot, and it looks like the caution will be coming out for the first time. Hell of a replay, uh, but yeah, get let, now we're going to go ahead and let them get down pit road, fix that up. I'm going to grab a quick swig of something cold to drink. You want to know how to follow NNR? Check this out. Hey, NNR fans. Don't miss any of the action by following or subscribing to Repeat's Twitch channel. Turn on notifications and you'll always know when the best preset league on Xbox hits the track. Check out his YouTube channel, too, to see all of NNR's past races. Follow No Name Racing as well as Repeat1975 and others on Twitter, and you'll never miss any of the action. All right, so as always, you don't miss a thing. Coming back to the uh, to the 94 on the uh, on the outside, eight truck of Asbel to the inside. There's the 88 of Watt Racing. Eight truck's gonna pinch that 94 down just a little bit. 94 is definitely gonna have a pretty good entrance into the uh, into the S's here, right behind the eight. Eight's gonna uh, navigate the uh, navigate the way on through. Uh, looking back, there's definitely a little bit more action going on here in the back. Racing hard, racing side by side. Here's the 75 and the 18. Uh, looks like coming into the bus stop for the first time after this. Uh, they had to uh, complete that caution. Here comes 51. He's not going to make any cl any uh, contact with that, uh, that 75. Decided just to keep it going through the grass. Good thing he didn't get a course penalty there. Although I couldn't really tell you, of course, penalties are a thing here uh, for for uh, these guys or in at uh, at Watkins Glen uh, for the matter. But still working our way through, kind of keeping an eye on things a little bit closer to mid pack and in the back. There's 64 exclusively elite mountain. The man, the myth, the legend, guys. You want to know how um, how we got you know the the follower uh, commercial or uh, the um, um, the uh, what you call it uh, the, the Zazzle commercial for NNRLeague.com? Uh, that is the man right there that just resubbed for five, for the fifth month, man. Thank you very much, Mountain. I absolutely appreciate you more than you know. Um, yeah, Mountain, you're, uh, you're awesome, but I'm still trying to get that 50, uh, that 50 people in here to, uh, to give away that die cast. It just has not happened as of yet. I'm guessing when, um, uh, when we get to Atlanta and it's the, the culmination of the, of the season, I, I think that's where we're going to get our biggest, uh, crowd of, uh, of season. And I'll, I'm thinking we're going to be giving it away there. I really do. But, man, thank you very much. I absolutely appreciate you. I'm going to keep, uh, keep on going through the field here. Mountain, if you're free, if you're not working, but I know you're normally working on a Sunday night. Uh, if, you're, if you 
you want to come on up and, and join me, you are absolutely welcome. I'm sure everybody's getting tired of hearing just my voice by now. <laughs> They are flying through this bus stop. Oh, looks like Trippy Man's going to run into a little bit of problem. Looks like he got there a little hot. Um, let's see. Gotcha, gotcha, buddy. All right. Going to keep, uh, keep going through. All right. Let's actually go ahead and... Quickly, grab us a uh, grab us a lap count. See where we're setting. Uh, next time, I'll go with uh, with Cowboy Matt. This time, it looks like he's coming through the last corner right now. Uh, he's, I'll go ahead and grab us uh, grab us a lap count from him. And it looks like we will have three laps remaining here in Stage One. So, thank you very much, uh, Cowboy, for. Uh, for the stream and give me a hand with all that. <laughs> I, I tell you, um, Mountain, I know that you did a paint scheme to uh, to honor your dad, man. I thought that was really, really cool. I saw that on Twitch. I'm going to try to catch up to Pop Bear. There he is. Uh, Pop Bear is actually running a paint scheme tonight to honor his boss. His boss runs like a a late modified series or, or something like that and he got to see this car sitting in the garage and he said you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna get his paint scheme i'm gonna put it out on track normally pop bears like a a, a, a black with uh like green or something like that uh but nope tonight he's actually running a scheme to honor his boss which is pretty cool yeah that's uh that that's awesome man that is absolutely awesome. Um, I actually wanted to go back. There's Watt Racing with a 33 a trip. Uh, I'm going to pull up the stream now of King Outbreaks. I'm pretty sure he's a little bit further ahead, uh, actually. Uh, King Outbreak right now is running in P1. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'll actually move over and show you his stream what he's looking at follow him on a lap around this place here we go yeah there he is coming through the uh through the uh, the exit of the bus stop coming through the carousel gonna wash all the way out past the rumble strips pick up as much speed as he can all the way down this uh, this final little back stretch before the second to last turn. Look at the focus in this man's eyes. Not saying a whole lot in chat. Keeping his eyes on the screen. Uh, kind of hitting his marks. Last corner here. Going to really uh, extend it out. I think the last time I saw him do this, he was actually redlining. Look at that. Third gear, fourth gear. Back up in. One lap to go. We'll actually spend it right here with this guy. Now, I know you're not getting any game audio. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to get that in, but you're about to see the guy that dominated the, uh, the, the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series last week. He's actually the only one that has flat cleared his way into the, uh, the next round of the chase uh, when, we, uh, when we get there in oh, about what, four weeks. Um, he knows that he's moving on. He, doesn't has, he has nothing to worry about. All he's doing right now is just accumulating points. And that's it. Um, every, after he won last week, everything else is just gravy. So if he can take that top spot, I'm sure he'd absolutely love it. But again, coming down this, uh, this bit of a backstretch for the last time here in Stage 1. Uh, it's going to be King Outbreak, Asbel second, Watt Racing in third, Trip fourth, and uh, and Little Tank rocking out that five in uh, in P5. So let's go ahead and bring it back to the box here. Congratulations, uh, King Outbreak, on your Stage 1 win. All right. So, guys, I talked a little bit of... of about the uh, the other commercials that Mountain has created for us, let's go to nnrleague.com. Take out, take a look at that Zazzle tab. 
Hey, NNR fans, are you looking for a way to rep your favorite NASCAR Heat preset league on Xbox Live? Look no further. Just go to nnrleague.com, scroll down to the Zazzle tab, and see what we have to offer. From t-shirts to hoodies to clocks, we have everything you need to show your support. Thanks for being the best fans, and we hope to see you at the track repping that NNR Red. Again, as I always say, you didn't miss a thing. Uh, they're wrapping up the last few seconds here of the the uh, the first uh, the first stage. Looks like it's going to be old Watt Racing to. Uh, nope, I take that back. There we go. King Outbreak with uh, the aid of Asbel uh, to take uh, take them back green with the 33 and the 88 to round out your top four and I think that was just Cowboy Matt that was running P5 right there so he's able to move his way on up the field just a little bit 94 is going to squeeze that eight truck into that uh, that um, the uh, rumble strips there we go coming up uh, coming up through the S's there Carol what's happening man good to see you sir Carol right now these guys are really uh, they're, they're handling it we had one caution uh, coming up through the S's, they completely closed off the course. Looks like we're going to have our second caution right now. Uh, going to kind of work my way through. Not quite sure what happened, uh, where it uh, was or what it was for. But, yeah. Yeah, out, out, Outbreak has been doing an amazing job, uh, Carol. He's been turning it on uh, as of late. Like I was just talking about, he is the only one that knows he is safe. Uh, getting into uh, you know the, these next uh, few uh, few races before we head to the second stage uh, of the chase, uh, but man, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. So again, we're gonna reset with the 94 and the 88 on the top uh, on the uh, the first. Um, are are we? No, I take that back. The game fooled me. Uh, looks like Ooh, split that. Damn. Oh, that's going to be bad news for the 94 of Outbreak. Uh, he got definitely got tagged in the, in the rear. I'll uh, we'll have to see if he's going to be able to, uh, to actually recover from that because I do not see a caution coming out. Nope, no caution. We're going to stay green. I know blessed hands... Um, and a few others were involved in that very first caution we had. But it looks like they've been able to uh, to get that all fixed up. 17 of Spurl. There's the old 90 of Pop Bear again. Again, guys, there are a couple of chasers that did not make the field tonight. So some of the guys like Pop Bear and a couple others that are deeper in the, uh, in the, uh, the chase points really uh, need to try to uh, benefit from, from their, uh, you know, them not being here. So they're, man, you you can't uh, you you can't be you, you got to be in it to win it, as they say with like things like the the lottery and whatnot. Um, yeah, Carol, I heard that you'll actually be uh, here for watching, it's Glenn. It'll be uh, it'll be good to see you again. Um, gonna keep working our way through. Looks like the uh, the eight of Asbel just has clear sailing. I see the 33 in Trippy Maine. Back there right now in P2, he's trying to run down these laps. I see that uh, that orange truck right now entering the bus stop of the 88 of Watt Racing. A uh, guy that's sitting P2 in points right now, just about 20 behind uh, behind the eight truck of Asbel. There's the five little tank. 18 and the 88. Dueling coming into a breaking zone. Looks like the 18 is going to be able to cut that off. Might have overrun it just a little hot. 18, 88, uh, nope, 88 didn't have uh, quite the momentum I thought he might have. Uh, but looking ahead from these guys, we're uh, we're seeing a uh, race double wide heading into the uh, into turn one. Big out breaking zone. The 64 of exclusively elite. And I want to say that's uh, not quite sure who that was. But there's the double O again. All right, so it's the 64. <laughs> I can't get the other truck number. But that's all right. Don't need it right now. 
Yeah, this uh, this eight right now. He's on. Uh, he's on on uh, cruise. We saw the uh, the 33 a trip a little bit ago. You know, quite a bit closer to him. It looks like he's actually dropped back a little bit as the eight comes out of the carousel. You do not see the uh, the 33 until you know uh, the eight's halfway down this uh, this short back straightaway. Speaking of trip, there he is. Looks like he might have got through that braking zone a little bit better than Asbel did, or Asbel made some contact as you see him kicking up some grass, uh, shoving it out on the track. Again, don't forget, on Tuesday night when we uh, come back here with the Xfinity cars, I will have none other than the uh, the driver of the 35 in the Cup Series, Dan the Lawman here with me to call his first race. Looks like Trip got into uh, turn one a little bit too hot. That's going to allow a couple guys to get on by him, including last year's series champion, the 88 of Watt Racing. So uh, some uh, pretty good heads-up driving by, uh, by our series champ. I think I might have to try to talk old Cowboy Matt here uh, into picking up a camera and uh, it's streaming like, uh, like uh, King Outbreak does. Um, he's always so much fun to watch. He's a hard charger, always on the uh, on the gas, trying to take every position that he possibly can. Sometimes, uh, you know, at the expense of others. Other times, not. Uh, he's uh, definitely a uh, a great addition to to NNR, and I enjoy watching him. well with double j and guys uh we're coming up to old memorial day and from what i hear we will have some cup cars back on track at charlotte motor speedway uh we haven't quite got all the details yet on how the race is going to play out but uh they, they say once a marine always a marine and uh double j is um a uh is is a marine um and you know as we on memorial day please you know, give uh, give thanks to your thanks to your veterans. Um, him just like uh, you know, just like I did. He you know he at, he raised his right hand and uh, swore to defend. Um, that's a that's an oath that I'm sure he would 100% agree with me. He'll uh, he'll take that oath solemn um, all the way uh, all the way to his grave. So again, uh, Double J, thank you very much uh, for for your service, Marine. Uh, looks like 17 of Spurl is on pit road, and as I see him on pit road, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a uh, grab a quick lap count. Uh, I'll grab it this time from uh, actually from Mountain. I'm sorry, from uh, Cowboy. I did it again. Sorry, Mountain. Um, <laughs> uh, looks like they are. Yeah, it looks like uh, Spurl is going to cut it right down the middle. Uh, they've got seven laps to go. We're pretty close to the middle. Uh, they've got. They're on lap nine of 15. So, um, yeah, he knows that he can make it from here. Why not maybe get in for an extra lap or two? You know, get a, come back out on those fresh tires, although it kind of looks like he might be stuck there. Uh, he uh, he might have expired for the night. Tough break. Watt with the uh, with the five, a little tank right in front of him, and the 33 at Trippy Main uh, behind him. And there's King Outbreak, not too far in the uh, in the distance either. He's actually right behind that 33. I just heard the old booth door shut behind me. Who that be? How's it going, Pete? Hey, who's that? Sparrow. Sparrow, what's happening, buddy? Oh, man, you know, just lagging out halfway through the race. Just oh. casual, casual Sunday night. <laughs> no bueno, sir. No bueno. Well, <laughs> um, man, we, we saw that one big caution that uh, piled up pretty much the whole second half of the field. 
Uh, other than that, we just saw one other caution here just recently. Were you still on track uh, during that? or? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I literally what? just lagged out. Yeah, I was coming through, I guess coming out of one into the S's, and uh, I think Cowboy, and I don't know who the other guy was. They was kind of sitting sideways in the middle of the track, so it wasn't really anywhere to go. Like, it, once you get to that point, it's kind of like a blind spot, and you top that hill, and they're just sitting there, so... Gotcha. Yeah, I tried to work my way uh, through all the the, uh, the cameras as quickly as possible, but it had, uh, had, had already you know moved on. But uh, man, tell tell us about the the racing out there. I, we've seen some pretty uh, some pretty good spots where it was, uh, it was you know at least a couple wide. It looks like everybody's trying to get what they can as quick as they can while the tires are new. That's no, nothing different than any other week. But this is only the second road course of the 2020 season what was the racing letter i'll tell you man uh that the guy's done really well getting into turn one and you know making sure we all got to this is pretty clean we had that one big wreck but you know nothing too major um but other than that i mean the racing's pretty good everybody's you know I, I would say they're giving everybody a little bit of room obviously if they're faster you know let trying to let them buy um one thing that i can definitely tell you that's going to be the key to winning this race is getting through the bus stop i mean those guys up front they're just coasting through it like it ain't nothing so it's uh definitely it's, it's a real fun track to run I, I hate it lagged out but i'd love to finish this one off yeah no doubt um you know kind of keeping an eye on um i was just watching the 18 here and now with the uh, with the double of blessed hands i suppose you need an invite sir uh now i'm actually watching it through swat okay all right, very cool. Yeah, yeah swat, right. swat the stream, so I'm, I'm okay. in here. I actually think it's your your stream, so. Say what? I said I actually think it's uh, on yours, right? Like, as far as your Twitch right now, so we should be good. Oh, okay. All right. All right, cool. Uh, but, yeah, kind of working uh, working through. Uh, now seeing the uh, the 12 with Double J with a lot of damage in the front of that machine. Uh, 90 Pop Bear. Uh, where'd you finish in stage one? Uh, I want to say I finished, like, ninth or 10th. Um, I actually freaking overdrove turn. I guess it might have been the last, whatever turn is the uh, next to the last turn, and I just almost went to the sand trap, and I had like five cars go by me. I mean, you just oh. make a little mistake here, and those guys are they're, they're right on you. So, um, yeah. but yeah, I think I finished like ninth or tenth, and I was really hoping that stage two was going to go green all the way because there's a little bit of a fuel saving strategy that you can run to get all the way through. Um, I would have, I would have loved to see how that played out, but we had that caution, so it kind of ruined that. Yeah, that uh, that caution definitely came out at a at, a, uh, at an interesting time. Um, that when I when I saw you on pit road, I kind of I stuck on you for a little bit, but I was looking at other things. Uh, Mountain says that you were yeah, I was twelve, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. I was um, running, I was running like eighth or ninth, and then I just drove off. That happened. Into, I, I tried to go there you. tracking, I guess. So. Gotcha. <clears throat> it's, well. it's it's more fun on the dirt track, right? <laughs> it is absolutely. Um, but man, these uh, these guys have definitely been getting after it. I know in the in the cup cars they're able to run like 107s. What what were some typical lap times uh, for for y'all out there in these trucks? Uh, the leaders are running one tens, uh, are real low one elevens. I don't know that anybody's touched a one oh nine yet. I'll be interested to see after the race. But uh I, I was running, you know, one twelves or high one elevens. I'm not super good here, but it's enough, you know, get by. <laughs> so yeah. but uh yeah, I think the leaders are running like one ten twos to one ten fives or something like that right now. I don't know that anybody's touching one oh nines in a group racing. Yeah, they're uh, they're definitely pretty spread out. If anybody's going to get anything faster, uh, then I'd say like a um, it's like a qualifying time, um, you're you're going to have a little bit of a draft or a little bit of help on one of these oh, yeah. uh, these straightaways. You know, like this main one now as we watch the 64 exclusively elite uh, head down into uh, into turn one or that uh, that little backstretch uh, on the back of the track before we make it to that uh, uh, second to last turn. Um, but man, yeah, they're uh, they're all out there digging it. This this is without a doubt the you know my, my favorite road course. Uh, oh, absolutely. On, on the uh, on the game, and probably it's probably going to be my favorite road course in the chase. I'm actually a big fan of the entire chase round. 
you know, Kansas, the Glen, Bristol, and Indy. Uh, four very, very different tracks. I don't know if we're going to have uh, find um, you know an another round where they are so different. Oh, absolutely not. I, I actually look forward to going to Indy next week. I think that'll be a, a good race for all of us. See how that plays out. Uh, it looks like the top, I guess the top four, are they still kind of broke away themselves or has Leader done got out on their own? Yeah, oh yeah, as well, he is completely, yeah, as well completely checked out. Watts got a uh, uh, a pretty good lead on Trippy Main, and then I think it was the five behind the 33. So uh, there's, uh, no, I'm sorry, actually, that's uh, the, the 94 King Outbreak. Uh, that's yep. kind of working his way back. And it was like a little tank trapped behind him. Yep, a little tank right behind him. So, King Outbreak on a pretty uh, pretty good rebound. He's uh, starting yeah, to work he his is. way back up. Uh, he got kind of used up a little bit after that first restart, but uh, there's there's no giving this guy. And I was on his stream uh, for uh, for the end of stage one. He was lightning focused on every single lap, um, just like he is, you know, at at any, at any other track. It's, uh, it's kind of fun to, to watch. Oh, yeah, it's amazing, you know, how fast those guys are getting through the bus stop, man. That's I practice, you know, two or three days in a row just to get the what I got. And that's those guys put in a lot of time, man. It's it's crazy how good they are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, before the, uh, tonight's race started, I was actually spending a little bit of time with the Aviator and um, and Rowdy uh, as they were they were practicing for uh, for their cup race on, on Thursday night. So. You know, the, these chase races, they mean just a little bit more. Rowdy is a three-time champ, if you count a couple uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, or I'm sorry, not a couple weeks ago, a couple years ago, where he actually won the Truck Xfinity and Cup Series Championship all in one race. And I think we just came to the yeah. end of, the, uh, of Stage 2. Yes, we did. Now... Guys, I talked a little bit ago about a car I want to give away. Let's see if we can get that done. Reach out to everybody you know. Tell them to get on the stream. Check out this diecast. Hey, NNR fans. Get your hands on this Lowe's Motor Speedway 50th anniversary diecast that's signed by track owner Bruton Smith by watching repeat broadcast on Twitch. If we get over 50 live viewers on any stream, the diecast will be unlocked. The winner will then be determined by a trivia question selected by repeat. First to answer adds this sweet ride to their collection. Thanks for being the best fans around. All right, we're back. So, yeah, go to nnrleague.com. There's all kinds of stuff there on the Zazzle tab that you can purchase. But uh, that, was a, that was a pretty good battle right there for fourth place coming uh, to, the, uh, to the final lap. But here we go. We're going to set them loose again. Here's Pearl, 88, and the 8 on the front row it's a whole uh, bunch of eights and these guys are first and second in your uh, in your points right now it looks like old 33 inch of man's gonna try to take advantage of the eight going down too low wasn't able to carry a whole lot of momentum uh, uh, coming off of one. Oh yeah and this track's unique because you know the um, first place car starts on the outside going into turn one so that's definitely here. I would say as an advantage because you can drive it off in there a little farther and roll off with a little more, little more speed. Unless it's closer to the end of the race and you get used up, but uh, it's definitely right now a pretty good advantage. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. Um, kind of working, uh, working through right now. Uh, the the 33 is able to uh, to keep a really close tab on the uh, on the eight truck of Aswell. I'm getting Aswell. Went ahead and locked up uh, max points there on stage two, and uh, looks like a little bit of a battle here behind uh, behind the eight uh, between the 33 and the five. I want to say, yep, there it is, 33 and the five coming down turn one, big breaking zone. Five is going to enter very very shallow. 33 is going to go up high, going to be able to get back in the gas, but getting into the uh, the act the uh, entrance. Of the S's, it, very, it narrows out very, very fast. Uh, looks like the 94 King Outbreak is also going to be able to work past that five. So uh, 94 is starting to come back. Oh, yeah, this is a great battle for looks like second and third. So, Man, they are hauling the mail through this bus stop like you were talking about. 
Uh, you watch the 18, and he made the man. He is, as Rusty Wallace used to say, he is flat flying. He used up the 51 of Swatch just a little bit. Uh, but, man, he's uh, that, that 18's got no quit in him. Kind of working our way through. 64 again of exclusively elite. There's Swats now. Looks like it might have had uh, another issue, uh, but it wasn't able to catch it. Uh, moved up to P2. Um, we saw him get past uh, the 33 of Trippy Main, and there's the 88 of Watt Racing sitting in P4 right now. Uh, he's definitely going to want to try to keep advancing his positions. Uh, now that we are in uh, the, uh, the, uh, the third stage, um, next time, let's see, next time, Cowboy. Um, uh, comes to the line I'll go ahead and grab us a uh, grab us a lap count uh, the third stage is usually quite a bit uh, quite a bit longer probably uh, with the with the wear and how big this track is I'm, I'm gonna guess they're gonna have at least uh, two pit stops uh, looks like uh, the 18's coming through uh, he's getting into the the, uh, the final corner now heading down this uh, this long uh, front straightaway and as he comes across the line, looks like we've got 32 laps remaining. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think I was told y'all were turning about, what, 13 laps uh, per tank. Uh, were there any uh, tire issues uh, at the end of that fuel run? No, uh, I guess it really depends on what you got your air pressure set up. But the, the tires, you know, they was held up pretty good. I think I was around like 20% on the left, and I had plenty to go on the right, so it wouldn't. It wasn't that bad at all. I think they could make it. Uh, I know the first and second stage you can make it on top stage. You'll, you may can get away with taking two and then taking four the second stop or vice versa. But it'll be interesting to see what these guys do. Yeah, absolutely. Watching a huge uh, battle right now uh, between the uh, the 18 and the 00. 18 has been charging again very, very hard. Looks like the, uh, the 00 in blessed hands. But he got a little loose that allowed the 12 and double J to uh, to get on by him. Um, it and looks like it looks like Cowboy just went by uh, Watt Racing maybe in six. I don't know if you see that. Uh, it looks uh, like he might be saving. Uh, uh, he was he was definitely coasting in the corners a lot more than other guys. So yeah, uh, I mean I'm, I'm still on the stream for uh, for the 18 and he is charging hard. He's uh, he's actually made contact with a couple trucks, but. Ah, uh, man, it's... Uh, he, he said he don't have time to wait. <laughs> no, no, he, he is uh, he's kind of you know, bullying his way uh, you know, to the front, but he, he's got a fast truck. He, you know, he, he can't, you know, burn up his uh, burn up his tires and, and all that. The, the, the further and further Aswell gets away is the more and more time he's got to he's gotta make up. Uh, right now, he's saying the uh, his leaderboard is saying that he's about a good even 10 seconds uh behind uh behind Aswell up there exactly. uh, up there in the first so he's yeah he's, he's not far off and which really he's not far off the leader's times i mean his best lap this race is the 111.3 so he's definitely right there with the leaders just a few tenths off so he if he get up there he might be able to make some noise see what see what can happen well he's definitely pushing hard i'll tell you that i mean he's really pushing uh keep uh keep on going through speaking of the 18 there he is now uh, he's going to enter, uh, enter the S's coming up, uh, to the top there. And then he'll head on down to, uh, to the bus stop. We'll actually go ahead and, uh, get on, get on a here, uh, with his 18 truck. Safe flight machine. Slowing up. I uh, don't think he's really shifting down into, uh, down to the third right there. Keeping it. Uh, maybe shifting here down the third way around getting gas back up uh all the power you got 
hard off um, on the gas. Uh, yep, I just heard him shift. Uh, so he is uh, definitely uh, using every every advantage that those, uh, that that uh, shifter gives. Him. So it's going to be a pretty good lap for uh, pretty good lap for Cowboy. Although he just got in the gas and crashed right there. That's going to uh, add a little bit of time to this lap. But as he comes across the line, I'll actually uh, see what kind of see what kind of time he ran right there. Uh, One twelve. Yep, yep. That. Uh, yep, you called it. One twelve. One twenty four. So yeah, there. sometimes sometimes actually downshifting in the second it actually scrub speed. So I guess it's just really a judgment call on what you feel like your truck's doing. You know, if it's sluggish coming out the corner, sometimes that can give you a little extra pep. But I know some of the guys I was running with, you know, practicing this week, they was they was hitting low one tens, and you know, I think one of them hit a one oh nine, and you know, he pretty much said that downshifting into second in a couple places it'll definitely hurt your time it looked like trippy was sitting in the bus stop sideways right then uh nice. whenever a cowboy went through there gotcha i'll have to uh try to catch up to him first i'm gonna grab a uh uh top five if i can uh right now it looks like ah, i need to just switch this menu as soon as i got back to uh back to cowboy uh he switched the menu but it's I think it's, I mean, it definitely had Asbel uh, up in the front. Um, and in that last lap, the leaders, he's really pulling away. 28 laps remaining here in the final stage. Uh, let's go ahead and check on the stream from uh, from King Outbreak now. Uh, see, if, uh, see if he's got any, any information for me. Yeah, King Outbreak right now. He's running in P2, but he's uh, he's actually got uh, his uh, his his camera right where the leaderboard would be. So that's not going to help me out. But yeah, here's uh, <laughs> the leader. Uh, you know, the uh, the winner of uh, winner of stage two, and right now he's got about I think the last time I saw him go by it was about a four second lead. Uh, looking back. Yeah, I mean, you can you can actually see the uh, the green from King Outbreak's uh, King Outbreak's hood uh, as as they're coming down that that front stretch, and also again now as he enter the curves, uh, he's got that uh, that Dale Jr. amp green uh, on the hood of uh, hood of that '94. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. A little bit of a battle here between the uh, the 12 truck of Double J and the 33 of Trippy Main. Definitely some contact getting into that braking zone. Trippy Main's going to take that position, but it's definitely uh, not without contact, uh, to, uh, to say the least. Still working our way through here. Five of Will Tank. Yeah, it seems like Cowboy's really got his uh, got his marks down on this butts on this uh, this bus stop. Uh, he's just he's really just flying through. Uh, he's got a, he's got. A, Pretty quick ride tonight. I'll tell you, consistency is definitely key at this track. One little mistake will cost you several seconds. It's it's definitely a momentum track, and you know, just making sure that you're hitting all your marks for sure. Yeah, and on this track, there's a lot of marks, and you're adding even more to it as far as marks go when you're using a shifter uh, because you're working on your, your shift points, you're working on your brake points, you're working on your gas points, you're shifting up, you're shifting back down again. I mean, yeah, you're uh, you're really working it. You're working the gas, you're working uh, the, the clutch, you're working the brake. I mean, man, these, these this is no easy feat for the guys that are uh, that are uh, using the shifter here tonight. Oh, absolutely no. You're getting you're definitely getting a workout if this. If you're only used to running noble tracks and you go into something like this, you're definitely getting a workout. Here's the 88, a Watt race. Kind of working, uh, working his way up, uh, up, yes, up this, uh, this very short shoot, uh, going towards the, uh, towards the bus stop. Uh, a little bit on the brake, hit the marks, hit the inside uh, uh, rumpses, hit the outside ones, hit the, uh, hit the outside ones again. Yeah. 
Cadillac saying that he can barely hear me. Is that any better, sir? I didn't realize that the boom had moved so far away from my mouth. How you doing out there, Chad? All right. Very cool. Thank you. Now looking back uh, from uh, from the 8 towards the 94. Again, the 94 took, uh, took stage one. Uh, the 8 of Asbel took stage two. So just like uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I mean, or, no, I'm sorry, not a couple weeks ago, just last week, these guys were the class of the field at Kansas, and they were going to settle that race amongst themselves, and it looks like it's going to be the same thing. They've got just, uh, I'll actually go ahead and grab a lap count uh, once these guys make it uh, make, make it past the start-finish line. And I have the onboard cam of King Outbreak. Uh, Y'all got to see how excited he was in both wins last week. If he can go back to back, I imagine that his excitement will be ramped up double fold. Uh, looks like King Outbreak is going to come down pit road. Eight's going to stay out for one more lap. Um, and as he comes down, I'll go ahead and get us a lap count. But his fuel light was definitely on. No sense in trying to judge it. Uh, looks like he will have... 14 laps worth of fuel and they've got 24 laps remaining so if we stay green this will be the final uh the final pit for uh for these guys and because he's pitting one lap before the eight being that he was on his bumper spurl he's gonna have those fresher tires um he's you know, he's gonna he should be able to pass him here on track spurl did i lose you Burl, you still got me. I uh, know Spurl actually lagged out of the race, so he might have uh, might have just lagged out. Uh, might have just lost internet for uh, for a moment. If um, if he logs back in, I'm sure he'll jump back in and continue the race with me. As you see, the eight truck of Asbel working his way down pit road right now. Looks like the five and the 33 of Trippy Main. Uh, they're going to exit the pits and work their way on out. I'm going to go ahead and try to find that 94 right now and see just how much time he makes up on the eight since he uh, since he won, went uh, since the eight went one more lap past King Outbreak. See if he's able to pass him here on the track. Um, it's going to be it's going to be close for sure. Right now he's showing P4 because not everybody has pit. Rock NASCAR, thank you very much for uh, for checking it out tonight, sir. I got that whole computer thing taken care of. And, guys, there is your gap. We saw the 94 pit one lap before the 8. Uh, the 8 is just now coming off be uh, behind or just now coming out of pit road. So we'll have to see if... The eight is able to go a little bit stronger on fresher tires as they uh, they make these uh, these last you know, 14 laps or whatever it was that I said, uh, or if uh, you know King Outbreak is just gonna pull away with his. This will actually end up being his third win in a row, considering he won the truck and the Xfinity uh, race last week. If he can win this week, man, you're talking about all kinds of momentum going into Bristol next week. When I talked to King Outbreak last week, he said that this was going to be his best track in uh, in the first round of the chase. Uh, he went on the win 
uh, Kansas, so I had a feeling he was going to be pretty strong again tonight, and here he is. He's absolutely proving why he had uh, such, a, such a great vibe about Watkins Glen. Uh, he is in first with a pretty good gap. Now back to that uh, back to that eight truck. Here's the eight now. As as we uh, look off his uh, off his hood view, uh, you can definitely see where uh, where that 94 is. Uh, he's got the clean air. He's able to set sail. Uh, looking at the 94's track map, uh, he's got one truck ahead of him that's uh, way up uh, through the S's right now. So it's going to be a little while before he kind of catches any traffic or uh, has to worry about trying to pass someone. Although I'm pretty sure that whoever it is will definitely move out of the way of the leaders, unless they are the first uh, first truck, uh, you know, um, one lap down or in, in a fight for a lucky dog. But I don't I don't think anybody uh, anybody's been lapped just yet. Still working our way through. Bowling, what's happening, sir? How are you? I'm glad y'all are here with me. I really am. Um, I felt really bad about missing the uh, missing the cup race last Thursday night. I had some kind of an issue with uh, with my PC. It kept on coming up with uh, with this error that would make the computer shut down and restart. But uh, I was actually just able to get that squared away about two hours before the green flag flew tonight. So uh, glad that uh, glad that I'm back with you. Watts uh, or Shad, if you're still there, here's your brother uh, working his way through uh, work, working his way through the uh, the bus stop right now, going through the carousel. Definitely looks like he has a little bit of damage to that front end. Um, Swats has been in some compromising situations here. Uh, definitely had a few people make some contact with him, but um, he's uh, he's doing all right. And it looks like the he's actually the the truck that we saw on. Um, on King Outbreak's track map, uh, you know that I said there was one one truck going up through the S's that he, he might actually catch, and it looks like it's going to be Swats. As you see the nine, the uh, the green uh, from that uh, 94's hood, not too far. Here's the 88 of Watt Racing uh, right now uh, with the 18 of Cowboy, uh, pretty uh, pretty close, not too far off. As they uh, go ahead and fly through this bus, bus stop, uh, man, they've, they've absolutely got their marks down. I, I tell you, Chad, I, I love uh, I love the Glen. Uh, like I was telling uh, Spurl earlier, this is my favorite road course uh, on uh, on the game, and, and it has been not just Heat Four. Um, I mean, going back to 09, I've always loved the Glen. Here's again, uh, as uh, looking at the, uh, the the back end of that 94. 94, look, he's pretty much kept his uh, kept his distance. Uh, eight, uh, the eight truck of Aswell has not really been able to to make up any ground going into this last turn. Uh, the 94 is gonna have to deal uh, with uh, with the 51 of Swats, but it looks like Swats is actually just gonna go ahead and pull over and let the leader go. That is a classy. Move. Uh, good job, Swats. Go back and, and watch this. Way to let the uh, let the leaders race it out for themselves. And I just missed the lap count right there, but I'll grab it again once uh, once they come around. Here's the 33 of Trippy Main with the 75 of Fatless Dig right in front of him. Nope, that wasn't the 75 of Fatless Dig. But a few of these trucks look very. Nope, it was the five. There we go. Uh, the five of Little Tank. Looks like 33 might have uh, ran that corner hot, but he's able to get it woed up and get back on the gas. Well, Bowling, um, man, I, I've said it uh, since I found out that there were going to be four races in every part of uh, every part of the chase this year. Uh, I think you're going to have one mulligan in, in each round. Where you can have a you know a not so good race, but man, you're you're strong everywhere else. I'm sure you're going to be 
uh, great at Bristol and, and Indy and that, you know, that two mile really flat track. I'm looking forward to, to seeing your, your truck or your car out on track on Tuesday night. And again, don't forget guys on Tuesday night, uh, right around right between 8:30 and nine o'clock will be the Xfinity guys. And I will have the one and only Dan, the lawn man, uh, with me in the booth. Again, the driver of the number 35, uh, car in the cup series on thursday nights when i get to hang around with the one and only hd motorsports about <laughs> bully i forgot about that uh yeah so you're gonna need some more practice buddy <laughs> um 90 pop bear let's see but you know i have been i have played some games where where guys have fallen asleep um Hell, I used to work with a guy at ADT, um, and he'd fall asleep in the back of the van when we were getting to whatever area um, the, the sheriff's department would uh, would send us to, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, they would tell us where there'd been a rash of break-ins or burglaries or whatever, um, and we'd go out and try to sell some security systems. Um, and yeah, the the guy. I mean, he could be in the front seat having a uh, conversation with somebody, and next thing you know, he's he's fast asleep. Um, so man, it, it happens. Uh, let's go ahead and check the uh, distance in between the eight and the ninety-four. Again, it looks like the ninety-four is keeping the same distance that he had over this eight truck earlier. And we saw the ninety-four. He, he seemed like he was pretty good on the long run. Uh, but just like last week at, at, uh, at Kansas, he was great on the long run. Uh, so this might really be playing into, uh, into his strengths as they, as they come down. Again, this short straightaway on the backside of Watkins Glen. Second to last corner. Uh, hit those rumble strips. Get the, uh, use them to help the, uh, help the truck turn. Last, uh, last corner before we get to this long straightaway. And as you see, the, the 94 up there um, coming across the start-finish line. I will go ahead and grab us, a, uh, grab us a quick lap count. I said I would before, but I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And it looks like they've got 15 laps to go. Uh, so these guys will have to come in one more time. And I think it'll be with like eight to go or something like that. Um, nobody, none, none of them can go one more time. So as was hope is that he can either uh, pit this time before the 94 or the 94 has some kind of an issue getting in uh, to into uh, pit road. So Aswell's going to have to try something or hope for uh, you know that the, uh, the 94 uh, makes some kind of a mistake. Uh, let's see here. Bit of a battle between the 90 of Pop Bear and the 75 of Fatless Dig. Uh, looks like Pop Bear is going to go ahead and uh, give him that spot. Definitely saw 75 was faster. The 18 to Cowboy. Uh, looks like uh, Cowboy may actually be the next one to get lapped uh, unless they come down pit road first. Uh, but the 94 is absolutely gaining. Looks like the 18 uh, clearly got some damage uh, to the, to the uh, left side of that hood. While the 94's hood looks pretty pristine. Double O of blessed hands. Got really, uh, you know, nobody around him. He's also got a little bit little bit of damage. 64 of exclusively elite. There's 12 with double J going through the carousel by himself. Again, 90 of Pop Bears rocking a, uh, a paint scheme for his boss. Uh, his boss has a... Uh, as a late model that he runs, uh, just kind of sitting in the garage right now, along with a bunch of other race cars with all the social distancing and all that that's going on. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's got his boss's uh, paint scheme out here on track tonight. It's got to be pretty cool. Uh, like I said earlier, maybe get a little bit of a raise out of the deal. 51 of SWATs going through the bus stop. Right behind the 33 of Trippy Main. Back to the 88 of racing. Again, he's kind of got the uh, this part of the track all to himself. Coming up through the S's. Oh, here we go. 
Looks like I'm um, guessing that the uh, the 18 of uh, of Cowboy kind of he held up the 94 for for a little bit, and that allowed the uh, the eight to to catch up and really close the gap. So here is your race for first place. But again, these guys have got to. Um, I think originally, uh, um, Chad, there was uh, about 15 on track. A uh, little bit of going through, uh, going through the, uh, going through the carousel here. Going to have to see who gets the better run. Eight truck is definitely pinching that 94 down. 94 clearly got through the carousel better, but the eight is not going to give up as they get into this little bit of a breaking zone. Eight clearly overran the 94 right there. A little bit of a bump. I have to see uh, I have to see how that works out, but they are not going to let this go. They're both going to have to pit. Here comes the 94 working his way down pit road just like he did before. This should clearly give another advantage to the eight truck. I'm sorry, to the 94 as the eight's going to go around one more time. Uh, let's actually go ahead and jump on in to uh, to his, his strategy here. See what uh, what he's doing. Here we go. So he, you can see that he's taking two cans and four tires. Got a little bit of damage that he's got to fix up. No harm, no foul. Um, you know, that little bit of contact there is going to hurt them both. Uh, but you know he's going to be a little little animated. Might be talking to Asbel saying, hey, what happened right there? But you know what? Let bygones be bygones. Before, when he came out of the, uh, came out of the pits, he was um, a good half second to seven tenths of a second ahead of that eight truck but we're going to go ahead and bring it back to, uh, bring it back to the stream here hey nnr fans hey, uh, are you looking see. here we go we'll, uh, we'll, we'll actually stay with the eight this time uh as you see him uh coming down pit road and as he comes down pit road, we're going to go ahead and try to find that that uh, that 94, see where uh, he comes out in comparison uh, to the uh, to the eight truck as he exits pit road. Before the 94 went flying on by, as the eight was getting to the exit of pit road. So I have a feeling it's probably going to be somewhat similar. There's King Outbreak, and just in time. Looks like he's coming through that last corner right now. Hard on the gas. Uh, in third gear, he's going to go ahead and shift it to fourth, and we should see if history repeats itself. The eight truck of Asbel coming off uh, pit road, and yep, there it is. So the 94 is going to go flying on by. There is the eight, and they are going to be a whole lot closer this time. A little bit of contact to the 51. 94 knows that he's got to go. Uh, eight truck kind of went through the grass. He's going to go ahead and spin it around. I'm not sure if that was with some assistance from the 51, uh, but I uh, it was uh, definitely uh, definitely some contact there. It looks like so far we're going to stay green. Yeah, no uh, no caution as of yet, and with the way that uh, this uh, this 94 has been flying, I have a feeling. He's going to go ahead and win this um, win this race here at uh, at the Glen as well. Three wide racing there for the eight. Definitely made some contact there. There's the 33 of Trippy Main. He's not going to be happy about that. He was stuck on that wall. Definitely some hard driving and some hard feelings, I'm going to guess right about now. There's probably going to be a little bit to talk about on pit road once all this is said and done. And I can guarantee if the 94, the 8, and somebody else. Uh, okay, gotcha. Um, but, yeah, if, uh, if they're, if they're in there on, uh, in, the, um, in the booth. Uh, for for post race, I I imagine that they're going to have different points of view. Looks like the 88 of Watt Racing coming down for uh, his last pit stop. Good clean bus stop for the 94. Seventy-five Fatless Dig on pit road, right along with the eighty-eight. We saw the eighty-eight when he entered.
Yeah. Um, Chad, we we did start, I believe, with with uh, with 15, uh, but Spurl uh, Spurl lost connection. Uh, that's why he was up here with me a little bit ago. And now I'm almost wondering. Nah, he, he's he's not out. But here's the uh, the double O blessed hands. Okay, gotcha. Still working through. Um, I'll grab us the lap count here. The next time that either the uh, the 18 or the 94 go go flying on by. Here you see the eight, I believe, with the five right behind him coming up through the S's. There's the five. And that eight is flying. There's the 18. Coming down this uh, this short back stretch again. Again, 12 and double J. And it looks like we've got about eight laps remaining here, guys. Eight more laps. Uh, we'll have to see if either a caution comes out or uh, if anybody's going to have anything for this 94. The 94 looks like he does have a, uh, a truck coming up. Uh, we'll have to see if the, the, this truck holds him up or if there's any kind of an incident. Uh, definitely want to want to hope not. It's been a pretty good uh, pretty good race so far. This truck does not want to go a lap down. It's going to be the 90 of Papa Bear. Uh, 90 is going to go ahead and let him on go. Definitely knows that he's uh, he's a bit faster than him. But Papa Bear can now just pace himself if uh, caution does come out. And if that was his first lap going down, uh, he would be the free, uh, free pass truck right now. Gotcha. Yeah, I was actually just going to go ahead and uh, get on the uh, the uh, the eight truck of as we'll take a look at what he's got after going through that grass um, areas. Yeah, that's that uh, that Silverado definitely looks like uh, the front end's been mangled up quite a bit. Um, we'll have to see uh, how he's handling coming through uh, that last turn going uh, going this going down this front stretch. Doesn't really sound like he's uh, like he's shifting at all. Uh, but coming up uh, off turn one, looks like he's actually a little loose right there. Uh, kind of looks like the, the back end might have kicked out just a little bit. Uh, but again, after a long slide, your tires are absolutely going to be worn. Uh, for those that just joined, thank you very much for joining. Uh, this is the, uh, the NNR Truck Series live from Watkins Glen. Right now, the 94 of King Outbreak has a commanding lead over second place this will be the third race in a row that the 94 is going to be able to win as long as no caution comes out he's got quite a ways back to uh back to second place and actually we'll go ahead and pull up uh king outbreak stream as we come to six to go uh here he is uh, going down into turn one very very uh carefully looks like all the way down to second gear right there up to third Going to get to the bottom of the S's, up to fourth, watching, looking, hitting his marks. Uh, we'll actually stay on him for this lap so y'all can see what kind of lap times he's running here and what would probably be right around the middle of a, uh, of a fuel run. Definitely redlining as he gets to the bus stop, hitting the, uh, the rumble strips on both sides coming through. Very, very good. Keep trying to keep it down as close as he can to that bottom line, getting back in the gas, back down in the third gear again, up to fourth gear, uh, down this uh, down this back stretch or short shoot uh, one more time, uh, 
getting into the second to last corner. Again, getting really, really down close to those rumble strips into this last turn. Uh, this should be with about five to go using those strips for a little bit more grip to come off the corner. And as he comes across the line, five laps remaining for, uh, for uh, King Outbreak. So again, want to thank him for his stream and allowing us to uh, kind of tag along. Um, whoopsie daisy. Let's get back. There we go. <laughs> um, good. Uh, that was a, that was a, a pretty impressive lap by uh, by Asmo or uh, by King Outbreak right there. But let's go ahead and keep working through this field here just a little bit. Actually, there's a little bit of a battle between the 18 to 51. I'm not quite sure who's in that truck. I don't think it's the 8. I'm guessing it's probably the 5. Nope, it was the 90 Papa Bear. That's who that was. So not the 5. Lefave, good to, good to see you out there, sir. How are you? All right, so with, I'm guessing the 94 just went by the uh, start-finish line. Again, well, not guessing. He must have. Uh, that would be four laps remaining. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep an eye here and see just how uh, how we stack up. Still seeing the uh, still seeing this eight truck. Um, although he has been the, uh, the class of, you know, the field, both him and the 94 these last couple weeks, um, he has... This uh, this eight truck has not found uh, victory lane uh, here in in the chase. It has been all the 94 of uh, of King Outbreak. King Outbreak has been getting a lot of help from Combat Beast, and I tell you what, if he's getting help from Combat Beast and Combat Beast wants to run in NNR next season, I think we're going to have another uh, pretty strong uh, bit of competition when we get to uh to the start of 2021 and talk about the start of 2021 there was some news released from heat five i guess uh next week they're going to release some more content information or re a release date or or something like that maybe the first trailer i don't know but uh yeah keep your uh keep your eyes out there for the first bit of information for for uh heat five still working our way through here we started off with about 15 trucks on track. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Spurl lagged out kind of easy. Uh, I'm sorry, kind of early. Uh, the latter end of, uh, of stage one, maybe the beginning of stage two. Um, so that's going to, you know, some of these guys that are here are, are really going to be excited about that because those are points that they are garnering. Uh, not only that, there were two chasers that did not make the field tonight. So all these guys that are running on track tonight, they've really got to be thinking about max points. Uh, I know the first and second stage was all the 8 and the 94, but man, second through 10th uh, still uh, pays uh, stage points as well. Some of these guys are really cutting the grass, and that is going to make Dan the Lawn Man extremely unhappy uh, when... Uh, uh, when he calls the Xfinity race with me on Tuesday night. Bot Fusion, good to see you make it, sir. How are you? Here's the 88 of Watt Racing with the uh, with the 33 of Trippy Main right in front of him. I'm going to go ahead and check back in with the 94 of, uh, of King Outbreak as soon as uh, he comes to the start-finish line. I'm going to guess this will be two to go. Actually, I'm going to keep it right here for now. Good battle between the 88 and the 33. These guys have been around each other for most of the night. Maybe a little bit of a cross over here. 88's definitely going to have the momentum off that last corner as they come down this uh, long front straightaway. 88's probably going to have the uh, the momentum, all, I'm sorry, the advantage rather, getting into turn one as well. But the 33 is going to keep him pinched down. Uh, they're going to go side by side to the entrance of the S is where it really funnels in. 
Uh, still side by up. 33 kind of cut that grass just a little bit. That's going to give uh, Watt Racing the uh, that position. And you know what? We are on this last lap, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the stream of uh, King Outbreak one more time. Watch him on this final lap as, uh, as he comes across to clinch his uh, third in a row, uh, two weeks in a row. Here we go. We saw the uh, the excitement that he uh, that he he shared last week coming through the bus stop lap 74 of 74, keeping it down low, going through the carousel. Uh, he's got that Mountain Dew hat on, so I'm gonna guess again that this might be a throwback to old uh, uh, Dale Jr. Um, rocking like some old amp colors. I uh, see his fuel light just come on, second to last corner. Coming into the last one, take it easy on the break. A little bit of downshift. Yep, you see his fingers three in a row, baby. Three in a row, second week in a row. Congratulations to King Outbreak. Knocking it out of the park, buddy. Knocking it out of the park. As you see, there's your, uh, there's your results. King Outbreak, exclusively elite. Great finish for the guy. Little Tank, Asbel, Blessed Hands, Watt Racing, Trip, Fatless Dig, Double J, and NNR Cowboy. Congratulations. It's going to be, uh, man, this guy's going to be partying hard. He's, he's got to. So let's go ahead and take it back to stream here. But, man, I, this guy has been racing phenomenally. Um, he, he won last week's uh, truck race here uh, at, at Kansas. Uh, he won the Xfinity race at Kansas. Now he's he won the truck race here at the Glen. We'll have to see if he's going to be able to pull up like a four peat uh, as we go to uh, get to the uh, the Xfinity cars on uh, uh, on Tuesday night. There's your top five uh, bod fusion. It's going to be King Outbreak, uh, exclusively elite, Little Tank, Asbel, Blessed Hands, Watt Racing, and I think that was Trip. Great race, great finish. Uh, this guy has all the momentum in the world on his, on you know, in his corner. And man, you, you can't, you, you can't knock it. He's done a phenomenal job. He really has. All right, we're gonna back out of that. Uh, let's see. I don't want to race the Glen myself, so I'm going to back out of that and out of that and out of that. Take it back to the truck screen here. All right, we definitely just saw the uh, the trucks put on a hell of a show. Again, kind of a smaller field, uh, but that kind of typically happens as the, uh, as the chase comes along. Some of the guys that aren't in it. Kind of, I'd say, you know, what's the point? But um, King Outbreak right now, he, he knows exactly what the point is. So we're going to work our way back. Uh, we're going to catch up with Outbreak and uh, exclusively Elite. And I think it, I forget who I said third place was. But we'll, uh, we'll catch up with him pretty soon. All right. Looks, uh, as I just see, Little Tank uh, joined as well. Little Tank, can you hear me? Yes, I got a copy. All right, awesome. Uh, it, it was um, it was uh, you exclusively elite, and then outbreak, right? Yep. All right. Well, Tank, uh, we we got to catch up with you um, earlier in the season. You know that that um, infamous pushing that you gave to uh, NNR Jaron Horn at Daytona when we kicked it all off. I think this is your third time uh, catching up with uh, with me in the booth. Looked like you were in contention all uh, all night long. Uh, something happened with the aid of uh, aid of Asbel. He fell back a little bit, but you were there to capitalize. Uh, tell us where you finished in stage one and stage two, and then tell us about the finish of your race. I think stage one, I got like a top five. Stage two was probably like I think sixth place, and then in the last and the third stage, I was just I was running pretty well, and I made a boo-boo and spun out and I was able to capitalize on the pitch strategy and I was running second and then I got 
got a little loose kind of in the corner, and so I was just able to hold on to third. It's all in all, it's a good, good race. Oh yeah, I mean the, these stage points are absolutely gonna uh, gonna help you. Uh, right now, before tonight's race, uh, you were about 51 points uh, behind uh, behind Asbel. So this will definitely uh, definitely help you. I'm sure Asbel got more stage points than you, but you know finishing points uh, they they count just as much. So man, congratulations. Uh, any any shout outs from you? Pretty much everybody for racing me clean all night and. It was a really good race, and shout out to you for keeping up with us, and that's about it. <laughs> well, man, I absolutely appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that my, my computer was back up and running. I just got it fixed like two hours before the green flag dropped, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm good to go. But man, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Then we, yep, exclusively Elite. Hey, Pete. What's happening, man? How are you? Pretty good. Man, you got to be happy with this P2. Um, we we saw, you know, that, that 64 really moving around that track. Uh, you were uh, definitely making some moves and, and uh, doing what you could. I didn't really see a whole lot of contact out of, out of you uh, tonight, which is always a good thing. It means you kept the fenders on it. You kept the hood out of your windshield. Um, How did your race go tonight? It, it went pretty well. The truck handled good and just capitalized on people's mistakes. That's all it was. Yeah, that's what it was for a lot of people. Um, and the um, where where did you finish in stage one and two? I don't remember stage one. I believe I finished fourth in stage two, maybe fifth. All right, so it's going to be some pretty good uh, points for you, just like uh, just like old little tank there. Um, now I, I know that um, actually are you? No, I'm not in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm, I was waiting on the on the scroll uh, to come along as I was getting to the to the back half. There's only 12 people running for um, you know the, uh, the the championship because of the way the uh, the, uh, the trucks worked out. But uh, man, it's got to be great uh, to to get up here, uh, grab a P2 finish from from one of those guys you know I'm, I'm sure you you want to win that's what everybody wants uh but it really not many people had anything for the eight or for the 94 um if you were able to get to the back bumper of the 94 you think you would have had anything for him i would have had to move him ah <laughs> yeah we we did see a little bit of moving uh tonight there were definitely some trucks that uh you know, had you know played no bones about it in in moving some people, even going three wide at times. Uh, but man, that's it's got to be uh, it's it's going to be great for for you in the overall uh, season points. Congrats again, uh, P2. Any any shout outs from you, sir? Really, just a family watching and shout out to my teammate for getting the win. And there you just go. Just for you putting the show on. Um, yeah, I me- I think I mentioned who I- was it your your aunt or your girlfriend last time that uh, that joined in or might have been both. Um, yeah, I think it was probably my girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. So uh, definitely appreciate them hanging in there and following along. Yeah, your uh, your BF did it again tonight. And then we're gonna move on to old King Outbreak. Hey, Pete. What is happening here, man? Where did this momentum for three in a row come from? Uh, I got a lucky horseshoe underneath my bed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, uh, it mainly has to do with my awesome teammates and my crew. I mean, combat helps me every week in, week out. And I got supportive teammates and people that like support on me. And it's, I just really can't do it without any of them, really. I, I mentioned uh, Combat Beast in in the stream earlier that he's been helping you out and that he's actually wanting to run when we get to the 20, uh, 21 season, uh, when we, when we move over to heat five, I tell you what, if combat beast is giving you some pointers and guiding you around the track and maybe giving you, a, uh, some suggestions, maybe on tape or pressure or whatever, I think, uh, he's going to be a pretty, uh, 
pretty, you know, pretty, uh, pretty big uh, competition for for the rest of the field, depending on what series he gets into. But uh, if he's going to be as competitive and as dominant as you've been here in the first couple weeks of the chase, I, I, you're pretty much going to have to put the rest of the league on notice even before we get to uh, to 2021. But man, we saw you uh, at the end of the first stage. Go ahead, and, and um, I think you came in second to Asbel. Second stage, you took max points, um, and then here you are. Third win in a row, if you count, uh, I mean, doubling up at uh, at Kansas last week between the, the truck and, and the Xfinity Series. I talked to you last week before those two races, and you said you thought your best chance at a win was going to be right here. Well, man, you, you definitely, uh, you, you pulled it out. Absolutely. Yeah, Tell us fun. about that dominant piece you had. I mean, just a note, combat helped me, yes, with the pressures, but I'm better of the road course ringers than he is. Like, he even tells me I'm the better road course racer than him. So, I mean, yeah, he helps me with all the pressures and stuff, but I'm the better road course racer. He's the better oval racer than me. By a little bit. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment, but... I mean, combat and exclusive, in my opinion, are the two best drivers coming in for next year full-time. Combat and exclusive, I can see winning a lot of races here. I can see, I mean, Watt's probably going to be back, so him will probably run for the championship, but both the guys I have filling in for trucks next year, exclusive and combat, will both be winners, I feel like, in the series next year. And stage one, I won because Azabil screwed up in the bus stop somehow. He, like, I don't know if he hit the curb the wrong way or something. Oh, okay. Second stage, I got stuck in traffic and do a pit stop because I had to fix some damage, and I still got damage in that stage, and I think I brought home P3 for that one, and then... I took a little bit of advantage on strategy combat was talking to me about, and I was lucky to get the lead. Uh, the problem I had with Azabil was, I mean, he's arguing with me with it now. He's apparently saying I roughed him up tonight. I literally gave him the spot back, and he probably will argue otherwise than that. I literally can show on my stream I let him get the spot back. So if anybody thinks I'm a dirty racer, I'm not. I'm not going to race you dirty. I'm not going to do anything to harm anything. Yes, I run the track the way I'm supposed to because everybody else does it. So if anybody has questions about that, you can talk to me about it. But other than that, I gave him the spot. He decided to run me into the sand trap in the last turn, and I gave him a nudge back to my displeasure. But yes, other than that, everything was great. It turned out exactly how I wanted. That's why yeah, I just want to get off my chest, Pete. I'm sorry. No, no, man, you're, you're fine. I actually think uh, that was all caught on stream as well. <laughs> so, uh, no, man, you're uh, you're good. Uh, like I said, there was actually quite a bit of beating and banging. And I saw um, NR Swats uh, join the, the booth earlier. Not quite sure where he went. I saw him get used up I'm a little bit, too, so I kind of feel bad for him. Um, but, man, it was absolutely uh, a great race for you again tonight. Man, you're... I know J-Pi asked you last week, um, are you going to go ahead and start practicing for the second round of the chase? And you you told him, no, there's more wins and there's more points that you're here to, uh, you're here to pick up on. And man, you've stayed true to your word. Any, uh, any shout outs from you? You've definitely already given out, you know, the old combat beast and, and uh, exclusive. What else you got? Uh, I got my loving mother who watches the race. Nice. Uh, my stepdad, who I sometimes doesn't catch the race, but he supports me through everything. He's happy that I won the last two weeks. Um, my Xfinity teammate Parzival, uh, Badly, Bot Fusion, um, UP as always. Just everybody that supports this league and just makes it what it is. I mean, it's just the best place to be. I know tonight was a little shaky and everything, but I feel like Xfinity is going to be a funner race. I feel more confident than ever in Xfinity than I did tonight. I knew tonight I had a decent piece, but it's like, I didn't know it was this good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah, but uh, no, I, just everybody that runs the show, SWA for being commissioner and everything, for taking up the responsibility of running the show and everything now. Just everybody that runs this runs this organization to what it should be. Well, I, just like we did last week, man, man we, uh, we we pulled up your stream and, and shared it with everybody out there. Um and we again, we saw the the excitement and uh, the happiness uh, of winning uh, your your third race in a row. I, I gotta say a big congratulations, man! You're going into uh, Bristol with some pretty uh, 
good uh, points on your side. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Outbreak, thank you very much for uh, for tagging along with us. Um, but Swats, you have uh, you have anything you want to say about what you saw out there on track tonight? Uh, I mean, I can just say congratulations to Outbreak, um, exclusive little tank. There was some uh, bumping and banging. Um, I do know what Asbel was talking about, and I believe it is on the stream um, that I could see as well. Uh, on Asbel's screen, he said that it looked like Outbreak caught the front end of my truck, and it looked like I was going to spin. Um, and I guess they collided asses? or something. Yeah. No, uh, what happened was uh, I stuck behind it didn't you. Look like I you know what happened. It didn't look you touched me on mine or mine. No. So on my I screen, moved out the way, but. yeah, on my screen he did that, and I ran in the back of you. But then on my screen, I just saw him turn dead left into the grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, so that's uh, what he was talking your, about. Your brother, was I mean, there was watching right there as well, and he he said it looked like Asbel kind of uh, caught the grass and lost it. Yeah, uh, but hey, I mean, so I'm it, not it, sure exactly yeah. what was going on, but there's a little bit of beating, banging. It's it's a road course. I mean, yep. Open the playoffs. They get a little bit more heated during the playoffs, so everybody's yeah. got to fight for that one. So I don't see any issues. So like I said, Albert, I mean three in a row. Um, did you have a win at all through no. the season? And I can yeah, tell you now, so I'm not done yet either. The entire season just pointing and getting into the playoffs, and now you've got two straight truck wins at the start of the playoffs and the first Xfinity win of the playoffs, and I'm sure you will be tough on Tuesday as well. Yeah, I'll tell you now, I'm not done yet either. So just be aware. Yeah, figured. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bristol, I'm just a lot back of watching, so. Bristol, Indy. I'm just nah. hoping to make it. <laughs> I'm taking as many points as I can with me, or oh, whatever. There you go. But um, yeah, no, Asbel or um, not Asbel. Um, Swats, thank you very much for you know taking taking control of the truck series uh, when uh, uh, Carol made his departure. Um, you know, if it wasn't for you or Coey stepping up, um, who knows where where the series may have been and. We wouldn't be watching, and, and I wouldn't be calling uh, all this great racing. So, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Uh, but guys, don't more forget. More thank you to you for covering it. Oh, absolutely, man. Uh, my pleasure, completely. Uh, don't forget Tuesday night between 8:30 and 9 o'clock. Again, I will have the one and only Dan the Lawn Man here to yell at all these people cutting the grass going through the butts, uh, the bus stop. But Go ahead. Don't forget. Go on over. Smash the follow. Smash the subscribe if you can. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, and uh, hit the notifications as well so you know every time I uh, you know, go go live with uh, with either of these series, whether it's the, the trucks on Sundays right around 9 o'clock, Xfinity between 8.30 and 9 on Tuesdays, or Thursday nights when I'm with the one and only HD Motorsports to call the Cup Guys Again, all three series will follow the same schedule for the rest of the uh, of the season. There's no separate tracks any of the week. I did get that question earlier. Uh, but I will see you again Tuesday night between 8.30 and 9 o'clock right back here on this channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if it's anything like it was on last Tuesday, we should have right around 25 uh, cars to, to conquer this uh, this road course here. Until then, I will see y'all later. Uh, to all of the NNR Pro League uh, drivers, good luck uh, during qualifying on Tuesday night if I don't talk to you before then. And don't forget to tune in Wednesday night for uh, and, uh, and, and vote on your uh, – uh, your pro league guys, uh, CGMX Rose, Jose720, and the one and only Dohar. Have a good night, everybody. Stay healthy.